Trusty is the new scout rifle from the Beyond Light Raid Deep Stone Crypt. It's the latest addition to the 260 RPM scout family, preceded by the Randy's Throwing Knife. Randy's is one of the best scout rifles for PvP in Destiny 2 and absolutely destroyed when it had Kill Clip. Comparing the stats of Randy's and Trusty, Trusty has superior stats to Randy's and has the possibility of rolling with a variety of barrel and magazine perks to optimize a roll. Randy's does not as it's locked into a set role. This archetype has an effective range that falls somewhere overlapping high impact pulse rifles and the low end of scout rifles. The 260 RPM scout has an optimal time to kill just a smidge above the 150 RPM scouts like Jade Rabbit and the exact same as 390 RPM pulse rifles like Bygones at about 0.93 seconds. And to hit that you need to hit 3 headshots and 2 body shots. By the way, mad props to Destiny Massive Breakdowns for their amazing work. I got Outlaw and Sympathetic Arsenal on mine, which has some fantastic synergy with reloading my special and heavy after a kill, and a reload with my trusty. In PvP this has minimal use, but for PvE this is very useful to negate the slow reload times of weapons like LMGs, rockets, and grenade launchers. It also helps you reload your sword. Looking at possible perks briefly, for PvP I'll be looking for Surplus with Eye of the Storm. If you're not sure what Surplus does, which is a new perk in Beyond Light, click the link to check that out. I'll hold off on the PvE recommendations until we have tested more of the new perks because a bunch of the new ones drop on this gun. Big surprise, it's a raid weapon. It feels really nice and snappy, as this archetype should. My tracking skills in MK are terrible though, so it felt much easier to use when I plugged a controller in. I'm sure if you're on that Kovax, you're not going to have a problem. In this meta, this weapon has a very small range margin in which it performs well, but when you're in that sweet spot, this archetype of scout rifle slays pretty hard and feels really nice. This is a very good weapon for being able to control those longer lanes, but also handles itself pretty well at medium range. Enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and one more thing. It's a beauty, eh there, bud?